You're watching a Nova Science Now video podcast. I'm Melissa Salpietra. You just invited me into this pond. We're no more than three feet in from the shore, yeah. and I am knee deep in muck. Yes, you are. I can't. E I can barely pull my foot out. This is what we. Uh, this is what we call a wetland. What used to be called a swamp. Normally, it takes them a little while to realize we're here. They, they respond to movement in the water first, mm -hmm. and they'll come swimming from many meters away. They can feel the movement, especially in an open spot like this. In fact, there, there's one coming right now. Do you see him? I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a doozy. Is he big because he's fed or big because he's just bigger and older? This one's probably big because he's older and uh, it's probably its second summer here in this pond and it's trying to find a place to feed on me. And what's it looking for? It's already on you. It's, it's looking for a place that it can taste the right substances, salts or amino acids or whatever comes out of our, our, out of our skin. And the palms of my hands are fairly rough. And, and the leech is not going to be able to get the right taste so, there. So like, like tender parts of your... Tender skin. parts, <laughs> tender parts. Between your fingers is a, a fairly good spot. Or and between if, any two other parts of your body. Between your toes, ankles are pretty good, the backs of knees, mm -hmm. uh, any place that's nice and soft. Uh-oh. You see him? He's got one. Yep. He's got one. So do you want to hold on to one of these guys? you want to see what they're like? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, they, they, people think leeches are slimy, and, and they're, but they're, okay, really, they're, right, I'll try one. they're really try only one. slimy when, when they start to secrete some mucus. <laughs> Come on. He's not going to bite you. He started to bite me. He did not. He was hanging on. That was his back sucker. That is mouth sucker. <laughs> the back sucker's the big one. The back sucker's the big one. That's the one that sucks the blood? No, no, no. No, it's the, the, the skinny end is the one that's actually going to do any blood feeding. And, and that's the one that's moving around and actually not Oh, so it's, on. it's the one that's looking around. Right. So this one is just... So this one's just, just for attachment just purposes. Just for attachment purposes mm -hmm. and locomotion purposes. They can feed up to six to eight times their unfed body weight in blood. And then live off of that. For... Live off of that for sometimes up to a year. We've really? had them in the lab for for a year without feeding and they're perfectly fine and then they'll feed again if they're given the opportunity. So this will suck on me and other humans. Any other animals? Well, this one's actually fairly interested in frogs most of the time. We know that it will also feed on, on, uh, on fishes, but it won't feed on turtles, for example, and, and for some reason they don't like catfish. But that's only one particular kind of leech. There are other leeches that will be out here in this pond that will feed on, on turtles specifically or feed on frogs. They're in a family that has a really profound parental care. They actually hold on to their young as they develop and then carry their offspring to their first blood meal when they go get their next blood meal. And that's better than some dinosaurs did. <laughs> so family values. Family values in leeches. <laughs> Can I hold him again? Yeah, there you go. Looks like it likes it when I pet him. I pet him and he's kind of curled up and he's just staying with it. Look at that. I think he likes me. 